Saeed says, what do you think about the ups and downs in the way we speak? Because I find it very different from my native language. Thanks. Every language has its own variation when it comes to stress. Saying one word more strongly and stretched than another. And then there's also intonation when it goes up and down. For example, we say really goes up like that at the end really I want to oh. we have intonation as well and there are a lot of different things but to ask the question why is it the way it is I have no idea I don't know but it does it does make sense to me that it's different in each language because why should it be the same if you have if you have things growing in separate directions why should they be communicating to each other what they're doing? They're separate. Here is Hindi or whatever. Here is Mandarin. Here is English, right? They're separate. So the way that people go uh, in this one is not connected in any way to the way people go uh, in this one, except for maybe music, right? And so why should it be the same? To me, it would be insane if it were the same. That would shock me. Wait a second. Every language has the same intonation? Really? That would surprise me. That would really surprise me. That would be like, for example, if there if every animal on the planet had rabbit ears. Rabbits have rabbit ears because they evolved with rabbit ears. But then once rabbits evolved with rabbit ears, why should that mean that every other animal should have rabbit ears? They have rabbit ears because they evolved to need rabbit ears because they're rabbits and that's what was necessary for their evolution. But other animals evolved differently and their environments didn't require them to develop longer ears as rabbits did. So it'd be weird if suddenly as soon as the moment, I know it doesn't happen in a moment, the moment that rabbits evolved to have long ears, <laughs> did let's say they reach a certain length and it goes ding and a bell goes off and the universe claps and, and the angels applaud wow they did it finally uh, and then suddenly brrr, every other animal on the planet goes they have rabbit ears they, i know that's ridiculous but that's the same thing right it would be crazy if english and your language had the same intonation that would be crazy uh it would be just as crazy um, so, I mean, it's a good question. It's not a bad question. I like the question. But to explain it, I would reverse the question. The interesting question would be, if the intonation were the same for your language and my language and Chinese or whatever, then we would have, we would have to give an answer. Why are all the languages the same with intonation? Ooh, let's study this. Let's figure out why. But the opposite question... Why are they different? It's sort of like, well, of course they're different. <laughs> of course they're different. Right? It doesn't require an actual, I don't think it requires an explanation. Anyway, it's an interesting question to think about. And I would recommend a course from the great courses called The Story of Human Language by some guy. <laughs> I can't remember his name. But it's a really good course, and it's about the history of languages, how languages change and develop. You find a lot of similarities from languages that you think are quite different that actually have a common origin. And it might not be intonation because that's stuff that changes more rapidly, but it would be something like word roots. There are a lot of root words that come from this language called uh, Proto-Indo-European that then spread outward and is common between English and then... and and. Between, between Hindi and languages in India throughout Europe, this Proto-Indo-European language had some core elements that are common throughout many languages around the world. Not all, but many languages around the world. Sort of a origin language. You can think of it as a branching tree. Pretty cool. So check out that course. Guys, if you haven't already, make sure you hit the like button. Don't forget to follow and subscribe. Also, check out the full courses in the links in the description. Thank you.